Uh, stapled. <laughs> Leonard! <laughs> oh, hi! Holy crap, man, it's good to see you! <laughs> you too. Uh, Jimmy, th th this is Sheldon and Raj and Howard. Fellas, fellas, hey, can I get a beer? Wow, look at you! Little Leonard Hofstetter. I hear you're a big time scientist now. Oh, and there's the first zinger. Ouch. <laughs> I'm doing okay, I guess. Okay, come on. I read online you're a physicist at a university. You want some metal? Well, the new cone metal. Yeah, congratulations. Well, congratulations? The new cone metal? Oh, please. That's the scientific equivalent of a smiley face sticker on your homework. <laughs> when I read it, it sounded like a big deal. Oh, good lord. Are we going to stand here and listen to him tear Leonard apart like this? Hey, I want a new cone metal, too. My point. <laughs> You should have seen this guy back in the day, huh? He was so little, he could fit in just about anywhere. Lockers, uh, trash cans. Oh, man, how did you get inside that backpack? I can't take all the credit. You helped a lot. <laughs> we were practically a comedy team. Like the Black Death in Europe. <laughs> Jimmy, I'm kind of curious why you wanted to see me. Uh, OK, here it is. We have this great money-making idea. I just need a gearhead to get it to the finish line. Mm, technically, Howard's the gearhead. Leonard's just a dime store laser jockey. What's the idea? This is it just between us, right? Right. Okay. What do you think about a pair of glasses that makes any movie you want into 3D? That sounds amazing. <laughs> First movie I'm watching, Annie. <laughs> How exactly would these glasses work? How the hell should I know? That's why I need a nerd. <laughs> I don't think something like that's even possible. Oh, come on. You can figure it out. You're like the smartest guy I've ever known. The smartest? All right. <laughs> now, I may not have a firm grasp on sarcasm, but uh, even I know that was a doozy. <laughs> Leonard, you can't live in fear of this man forever. Sheldon, I got this. You clearly don't. What my spineless friend lacks the courage to say is you're a terrible person who took advantage of his tiny size, his uncoordinated nature, and his congenital lack of masculinity. Shut up. Leonard, I platonically love you, man, but face it, you're a mess. I don't understand. I think what he's trying to say is that maybe in high school you picked on me a little bit. A little bit? But the man super glued Hershey's kisses to your nipples. That's funny because those aren't the kind of kisses you want on your nipples. Who is that? This is a list of your heinous acts against Leonard, one of which is certainly the cause of him wetting his bed well into his teens. Fourteen is not... Ah, uh, yeah, never mind. What's this word? Nancy. You called me Nancy for three years. You really need to work on your penmanship. <laughs> Man, I, I don't know what to say. I always thought we were just having some fun. Well, it wasn't fun for me. You're being too kind, Leonard. You ruined him. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs>